On this special edition of Arts and Minds, Transformation AGO, an exclusive behind the scenes look at the Art Gallery of Ontario. It's been redesigned, remodeled, and renovated by world renowned architect Canadian Frank Gehry. I just went back to the classical, symmetrical entrance that I remembered as a kid. It's a $254 million project, seven years in the making. The way the building looks on the outside is absolutely an expression of what had to happen on the inside. The reopening of a building that has been anxiously anticipated by art lovers across the nation. Contemporary art has this sort of privileged position being elevated into the city, forward looking, possibly even into the future. Over the next half hour, we are going to bring you an exclusive sneak peek look at one of the most important art collections in the world, the Thompson Collection, plus brand new work in the contemporary galleries. All of this in this amazing building that some people are calling a work of art in itself. But don't tell that to Frank Gehry, because he hates it when you say things like that. Gary spent three years making this mess, and now that we're here, it's time to teach him how to get it done. He told me he renovated it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's for love I'm doing this. Just cut my hand off. Yeah. Pipe sticking out. That's deep. Bye, Gary. I will live to rock again. I want a nice big opening. Stella wasn't too happy when I told her that that is a structural wall. Oh, sorry. This structural wall is actually supporting ceiling joists over your dining room. We need to talk to an engineer. We need to know what size posts and what size beam we need to put in here. This means what? This means it's either going to take a lot of time and be significantly more expensive than you originally budgeted for your kitchen, or we need to come up with an alternative. This is a clear example of when a homeowner needs to recognize the line between, I can do this myself, but I need some professional advice on it. I'm not going to go away. Like, I'm, I'm going to hang around and, and uh, see what's going on. He's on the bench. You're on the ice. Mm, Have you used go. a reciprocating saw before? Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. OK. So trigger this hand to hold it. One You're not going to yourself, right? No. So put it in, angle it. Hey, I thought he was going to get some antibiotics. Hey, that's not the doctor's. Either you get back in here or you go to the doctor where you're supposed to be. What is this crap? I don't know. Now get yourself over there. Please get over there and get no, it. Fixed. And if you don't go get it fixed, that hand is going to be yeah, no, reciprocated. I'm, I'm going to go. Brendan's place had always been a crash pad, but with Sarah moving in, it's time for a change. And we really hope our eclectic design will give them the character and charm they've been looking for. Whoa! Yeah. And back. I said I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Welcome back to your Parisian parlor. <laughs> what do you think? It's incredible. It's massive change. The space it's feels incredible. much bigger, doesn't it? I mean, there's a lot of stuff it that's It does, and the ceiling feels higher, and these beautiful chandeliers are, they're You're glorious. Right. You're absolutely right about the ceiling feeling higher. Yes. Any time that you paint the walls darker and then do the ceiling lighter, oh, it really okay. makes it, punches it up and makes right. it feel a lot, a lot right. higher. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right to the couch. That's what we yeah. got. I like wow. it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It pulls out into a bed as well. Oh, right? good. So when, when all your friends come over, exactly. they can either if they pass out here or you can pull it all out. Oh. I hope you like blue. <laughs> I love blue. And the whole blue theme is very French, so we... Uh, we, we very built French. Very, very Très Français. Rich, French fabric. What we did here was we took a lot of elements of their lifestyle and tried to give it a little bit more of the essence of what a Parisian parlor would be, which is a little bit cluttered, a little bit busy, and yet still organized in a way that kind of makes a cohesive sense. We tried to maintain that kind of eclectic feel you guys had before. So Definitely. You know, the wallpaper is spectacular. Wallpaper. It's from like 1920s. It's a re-release. Really? It's actually really old print. Lots of action happening in it. You can see lots of different things. Yes. Lots of frogs and aliens. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and spaceships. We found a black and white one just to match the uh, black and white tile floor you guys kept. That's where the sort of yes. inspiration came from. Not sure if I'd put this here. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be straight, actually. So. <laughs> okay. that, that was my mistake. Yeah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. My records, Look they're all me. alphabetized, right? Well, I think this part of the room is really lovely. This round table, mm -hmm. it's very Louis the 16th, 15th, maybe? 14th, 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 14th. 13th. Any one of those. Well, we found this great yes. chair. Who left a guitar on there? <laughs> Guitars everywhere. I love this chair. Isn't that chair great? Love the chair. I really like that pillow, too. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> you can have the pillow back. What about these cha-ching mirrors? Wherever did you find those? 
What are those bags that you brought in? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were, we were going to ask you the same thing. These Chiching mirrors are going to be leaving. It's definitely too heavy on the mirrors here. <laughs> I'm a vain creature, but no one needs to know. <laughs> but I do like the candles. I do, I like the candles. It's a neutral space for the two of us, and now we have this beautiful room to enjoy together, and it's all done, and... Okay, now it's been designer guide, so now it has to be the Sarah and Brendan touch in certain places, and certain things have to be... 